And welcome everyone, I am the Zember and welcome to Siberia. This game was won at my 1000 subscriber giveaway, but I wanted to play this anyway because it, it's such an amazing game. While while most of you not might not like it because it's a more serious game and less on the comedy, it's still a wonderful, wonderful game. It's It, it was unique at the time. So let's start a new game. I've played this before, but I haven't played it in about, I don't know, six, seven years. So it's good to be playing this again. Also, listen to that amazing music. Okay, let's start the game. Valle de Laine, the French Alps. Now that was something you don't see every day. The first time I played this game, I was mortified by those walking robots. Because I thought I didn't know anything about the game. I thought that I stumbled into Horrorville. But, as we will soon find out, there's a lot more to this story. But here we are, we are a woman. Then we're really, really, really thin. I really don't have the strength to take this suitcase any further. I wonder who can help me. I really don't have the strength. So wha what was the inventory like? I don't remember. Ah, that was pause. Ooh, bloody. Um, how did I access my inventory? Ah, here you go. Okay, so we have a cell phone. Look at that cell phone. Doesn't that bring back memories? Okay, and we have this notebook, and this is how we talk to people and have topics of discussion. Discussion. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And here we get items and folders and look at stuff. And beautiful. Later. Okay, we have to find someone to talk to. We're this woman in Valle de Laine. We don't know what we're doing here, but it sure looks fancy. Ooh, everything is so fancy and automated. I wonder if that's relevant. It does not work. Great. Work. I need a key. I need a key. Hey, look, a key. Now. I remember back in the day when games didn't exactly tell you how to use inventories, so you got to figure this shit out, man. There you go. Isn't that cute? Okay, okay, I'm coming. Oh, there was another kid in the other room. Great. <laughs> Thanks for being so silent, kid. I didn't even notice you there. Hi there. Hi there. Hello there, ma'am. You know, for for someone in, in an obscure town in France, or wherever we are, you speak perfect English. I would like a room. My company should have made a reservation in the name of Walker. The company is Marson and Lormont Associates. 
The name is Kate Walker? Of course, Miss Walker. You are in room six on the next floor up. Thank you. Perfect. So our name is Kate Walker. Kate Walker! Uh, apparently we need some help. Yes, with the suitcase. Could you possibly take my luggage up, please? Please do excuse me, Miss Walker. We have been neglecting our duties. Guests are so rare these days that we forget our manners. So you're the American woman? Is it true what people say? That you've come to buy the factory? Not factory. Anna's house. Hans' house. Excuse me? Would you quiet down, you mischievous little boy? Ah. Oh. I imagine our little town must disappoint you. You see, today is very sad for us. It's a day of mourning. Today is the funeral of Miss Anna. Oh no! Almost sad, but Hans not dead. Hans long way away. Anna told Momo. Anna liked Momo very much. That's enough, Momo! Stop pestering the lady! Now go on, scram! Get out of here, you hear? Get out of here. Whoa. Calm down, kid. What was I saying? Oh yes, Miss Anna. Such a great loss for Valet de Laine, it really is. Because now that she's dead, the factory will close. But you're here to stop that happening, aren't you? Our future is in your hands, Miss Walker. What? Anna Varlberg is dead? That walking scene. Wow. <laughs> Um, can you talk some more? No? Awkward walking? Okay. Here's your room. I hope you like it, Miss Walker. I'm sure it's gonna be lovely. Wow, teleporting. Lovely. I'll leave you to rest for the time being. You must have a lot of work to do. You know, the takeover of the factory is very good news for us here. It would make us very happy to see life return to our valley. If only you had seen Valadilen before. It was delightful. People came from all over the world to buy Vorlberg automatons. Ah, somebody has left you some mail, I see. Remember, if you need anything at all, we're not far away, Miss Walker. Remember, we're not far away, ever. Right now, I'm listening at your door, Miss Walker. Probably not. I don't need that for the time being. Or we will never need that for the time being. Ever. That's one spoiler I will just share with you. So if I remember correctly, you're Kate Walker, an American agent sent to Valadilen to buy this factory that made robots. But woe is me, we arrive on the day that the owner of the factory dies. And that was the creepy scene at the start of the game. So what are we gonna do? Check our mail first. Or put it in our boobs. Dear Kate, our client, the Universal Toy Company, is more eager to see conclusions from the talk, okay, take over in the days to come. Bring negotiations with Madame Anna Vorlberg, who died. <laughs> Allow me to remind you, it's a multinational which has a monopoly on the toy market, blah blah, golden opportunity, lovely, we would love the money. Edward I should Mason. tell Marson about the death Marson. of Miss Varlberg. I hope this isn't going to get too complicated. I can't see myself staying here too long. Why? The room looks so fancy. Fancy? No need to go down there. No need to go down there. We're gonna hear that a lot during this game. No need to go down there. Uh, okay. We have more stuff to talk about, but let's call Mr. Marson, who is our boss. Uh, wow, this brings back memories. Office. And Mom. And Olivia, who is our best friend, I think. And Dan, who is our boyfriend. Marson and Lormont, how can I help you? Can you put me through to Mr. Marson, please? It's Kate Walker. Hold the line, please. Hold the line, please. Oh, dear. It's elevator music. Hello, Kate. So tell me, how's the case going? I've just got to Valadilen, and there's a slight problem, Mr. Marson, I'm afraid. 
Mrs. Vorlberg is dead. Ah, that's most unfortunate. But I seem to remember we made provisions for just such a sad eventuality, and we know that there was no heir. Yes, that's right, but... So where's the problem, Kate? Contact the notary right away. I'll get my secretary to fax you his address and an introduction letter from the firm. Very good, Mr. Marson. Right. I gotta go, Kate. Keep me up to date, okay? I just... I just don't care. Okay. Well, apparently we have to get something from the secretary. It's a really fancy place. It's very nice. Oh, yes. Great. We can run. That's perfect to have an Adventure Games running. But it's all mouse-driven, so I can't really control this. Mr. Uh, I'm back again. Miss Walker? Miss Walker? My mission. A fax didn't arrive for me, did it? Maybe. I thought I heard the phone ring. Do you think you might want to go and check? Please? Certainly, ma'am. Immediately. Thank you very much. Did I get a fax? Give me that fax. Put it in our boobs. Yep. Everything fits in there. Dear Metro Alfalter, as you are no doubt aware, our practice is charged with undertaking negotiations take over of over Alberg. It is with great sadness that we learn of the recent death of manager and owner of the factory, Madame Vorlberg. We are under no doubt that Madame Vorlberg left you instructions before her death. Yes. Significant boost in the arrival of American multinational. It is for this reason that I am sure you will give our representative, Miss Kate Walker, a warm welcome. Thank you. Thank At you. your service. We are so polite. Let's talk about uh, Anna. Did you know Anna Varlberg yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I mean, well, not really. What? She was a very great lady. We loved her very much. May she rest in peace. Oops. Okay. What about this kid that had a rage moment? Who is the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid. No, no, not okay, at all. Okay. <laughs> He's not a bad boy. No. Momo is just a little simple, that's all. I see. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call the village idiot, okay. and Anna <laughs> took him under her wing. He must have reminded her of her younger brother, no doubt. And uh, birds of a feather stick together, don't they? You're implying that Anna Varlberg was a little bit slow as well? Heaven forbid. No, no, not at all. She was a real loner. She kept to herself. That's all. I just love all these little mechanical robots. I've noticed there are tons of them here in Valadilen. Be careful what you say. Vorlberg automatons are not robots. If you want people to like you here, never ever pronounce the word robot. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the difference between an automaton and a robot, then? <laughs> uh, well, to tell you the truth, no one really knows. Fail. Great. Well, I said robot before. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll say automaton from now on. Even though you don't know the difference yourself. The young boy who was here earlier talked about, uh, uh, Hans. Who is Hans? Uh, Momo was talking about Hans Vorlberg, Anna's younger brother. But he died a long time ago. Nobody here even met him. All right. Do we still need help? I think I'm going to need your help again. I guess. Are you leaving already, Miss Walker? Should we bring down your luggage? No, no, I'm not leaving yet. It's just that... We would love to help, but... Just think what would happen if the telephone rang, or, or if a fax arrived. Oh, no. Or if a customer came through the door. Oh, no. We don't have five minutes rest here. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. No biggie. No biggie. You do what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. I'm going to go look around. As you like. See you later. Well, let's see what the little kid threw around. What are those? Uh, No. Can you move faster, please? What did you put in your boobs? Some cogs? Great. Let's put some more stuff in our boobs.
great. We have a bottomless, tiny jacket. Oh, okay. So he was playing with this then. Wonderful. I guess there's, there isn't really any point to put them back on the table, so we're probably going to put them somewhere else. Let's get out of here. We've spoken to this man enough. What's this? Ooh. How do I explore things? Wasn't there something to explore? Hmm. Because right click is the inventory. Maybe I can just explore them in the inventory. Whoa! The world capital of mechanical toys. I'm not gonna read through all of these because you pick up so many documents, but you can pause the video and just read it. It just tells what automatons do and how wonderful they are and how you will die if you say robot. It's very, very nice. And this was, this particular picture was Anna Vorlberg's father. So maybe he's gonna be relevant. Maybe. Come on, Kate. Open that door. Ah, finally some fresh air. You know, it always struck me as a bit weird that in this town, the automatons, which are made of iron, how do they still function? Because this looks like a very, very humid place. It's just weird. Hello, person. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, uh, please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure, but I'm afraid I don't have the time. Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Ah. Our good little town of Valadilen is not what it used to be. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. And good day to you. Okay. Let's see what else is in this uh, actually very beautiful and very deserted town. Village, more like, actually. What's in here? There's a lot of walking in this game, so I'm gonna... No need to go down there. Yeah. So I'm gonna try and edit out the parts so it's not too much walking. Okay, so we can't go down there. What about down here? Do you want to go down here? Uh, man. Hey, man. Nice apron. Good morning. Are you open? Can I buy something from your bakery? No, afraid not. Not possible. We're closed. I can wait a while. You can wait, but we're closed all day. Day of mourning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Don't worry about it. Because of Madame Vorobolg's death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. That is a pity indeed. I could go for some croissants. I'm quite hungry. Hmm. Anything in that door? No need to go down there. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna hear that pretty often. No need to go down there. No need to go down there. No need to go, no need to go, no need to go down there. That door? No need to go down there. Oh dear. I can already sense the editing. Oh, what's that on the bench? It looks like a newspaper. Be casual, be cool, Kate. Grab it. No one's looking. And in our cleavage. Warning the loss of the queen of our hearts. Let us let us pay homage to Anne of Orlberg, who died peacefully at the age of 86. Great lady devoted her life to business and our community. 
Okay. The funeral will take place this morning. Yeah, we saw kind of a part of it. Stiff joints? Chronic hangovers? Need a spring in your step. Look no further. Further. Dr. Schweitzer's Miracle El Elixir. One remedy for a thousand woes. You can read this as well. It's just saying stuff about Anna. And I think this is where we have to go. If I remember correctly, this was the notary office. Ah, and another contraption that would make no sense in this kind of humid weather. Look at it, it's full of rust. Oh. Oh, I, 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 know, I know, I know, I know. No, no. We have to put the reason why we're coming here, the second fax. Here we go. So the people inside will look and see why you're the fuck you're here. How this works, I really don't know. Creepy. <laughs> really fucking creepy. <laughs> Let me in. Success. So uh, we're in the notary office. Can I save in this game? Maybe we should save. S I saved. Return. Man, this is such a fancy place. I want all of these chairs and furniture and buildings and stuff. So the secretary, secretary seems to be away. Let's just fiddle with her, her stuff. What does this do? Approve. Approve. Does not work. Nothing seems to fucking work. Okay, maybe we need a key. Later. Hello? Hello, sir. Miss Walker, I presume. Have you had a good journey? Mm, yes. Everything went very smoothly. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Do take a seat, Miss Walker, please. Mm, creepy. I imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here. Of course. I was waiting for you. You were? <laughs> I am the legal representative for the Universal Toy Company. I'm responsible for... So I understood, Miss Walker. Okay. Uh, let's tell him about our mission. Uh, Miss Walker, I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. Why not? Whoa there. Whoa. Everything was agreed. We'd obtained Anna Vorlberg's consent, and her death does absolutely nothing to invalidate that. Now, I have to be back in New York the day after tomorrow, Metro Alphotair. My client and I are impatient to seal this deal. I understand only too well, Miss Walker. <clears throat> there is a... an heir, Miss Walker. Really? Excuse me? An heir? But Madame Varlberg never married, as far as I know. And in my last conversation with her, she absolutely never mentioned this detail. Miss Walker, believe me, I was more surprised than you are. Anna Varlberg sent me a letter two days before she died. Understand, Miss Walker, that had I known about this earlier, I would have informed you. I shall read you the document in my possession. You should have sent it to me two days ago. Jesus. I got the facts in like five seconds. I am so very old. It seems that today life is slipping away from me more quickly than I imagined. And I fear that I will not be of this world to sign the takeover contract for my dear factory. So, I must make this confession to you now. My brother, Hans, is still alive. It would not surprise me if you find this difficult to believe, but it is indeed the truth. You must remember his death, his funeral, too, even though you were very young at the time. It was but a sordid charade dreamt up by our father. To him, the very idea that his only son should wish to leave Baladilen and abandon the family business was unbearable. When Hans left, he preferred to think him dead and make everybody else believe this too. He obliged me to bear this terrible secret as well. I repeat that Hans is still alive, so when I die, 
It is he who becomes the sole and rightful heir of our factory. Okay, I see. If Hans Varlberg is not dead after all, then I just have to sign the contracts with him. I suppose you've already contacted him? Where can I reach him? The second half of the letter informs us that Hans Vorlberg is somewhere in Siberia. Where? Siberia? I a document in your hands to read at your leisure. It's fucking Siberia? And we're in France? Oh god. We have a long journey ahead of us. Oh dear. I wish to die with a clear conscience. Well, good job, Anna. Anna Varlberg had no further information to add? Unfortunately not, Miss Walker. I have told you as much as I know. The situation in legal terms is now clear. If you want to conclude this sale, you have to find Hans Vorlberg. Apparently there is a body lying in the town cemetery. There also seems to be some ghost wandering around Siberia. It seems you have your work cut out for you. Believe me, Miss Walker, when I say that I am most sorry for this regrettable setback. Most sorry. Great. What now, then? Perhaps you will find out more in the Vorlberg factory archives. You will find the key in the waiting room. My role in this affair finishes here with the reading of this letter. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must rest. You see, my health is not excellent at the moment, and my doctor forbids me from working for too long. I will not detain you for any longer, Miss Walker. Do not forget to close the door as you go out. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. It's no problem. I can easily go to Siberia. It's... it's like the next continent. It's no problem. You just rest, and be happy that you don't have to deal with this shit. So what now? He told me to pick up a key from here? Where? I can only inspect this. Where is this key? Key. Okay. I see no key. Key, key, key. There is no key. There is no fucking key. Is there something in here? Oh, what is that? Is that the key? It's a huge fucking key. How the hell do you fit that in? I don't know. But it's adventure game logic. You have bottomless clothing. It's useful. So yeah, apparently there is an heir. And we have to chase him down if we ever want to make this transaction possible. And, um... Uh, yeah, I think I'll leave the first episode here, guys. In the next one, we're gonna go into the factory and uh, rummage around. Hello? Kate? Dan, I'm so pleased to hear your voice. How are you, honey? Did you have a good journey? Have you settled in? It was long, tiring, damp especially, but I'm okay. Especially when you... Everything going as planned? Yeah, I mean, well, not really. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. You know, everything's so different here. Actually, while we're on the subject, I managed to free myself up tomorrow lunchtime. I'll come and meet you at the airport. I hope the flight from Paris won't be delayed. We're expected at the Goldbergs about 8 o'clock. I hope you have the time to take a shower and change, my poor honey bun. Dan, I don't think the Goldbergs tomorrow night is really on. Don't worry, Kate. You'll be as perfect as ever. Anyway, you never have to wear much to look really great. Dan... Dan... I'm going to have to extend my stay here. There's one or two complications. You understand? Hey, honey, what are you talking about? It's only a measly toy factory. The sale isn't going through as expected. I I've got to stay a bit longer. Dan, you don't mind, do you? But Kate, Katie, you can't do this to me. I mean, it's the Goldberg contract. There's millions of dollars on the line here. I know, I'm sorry. You go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll get back as soon as I can. I promise. Okay, I I I've got to go. I'll call you back soon. Love you, honey. Are you done, Kate? Are you done talking to your boyfriend now? Can I end the video now? Thank you, Kate. 
I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this game.